My name is Bahar Faroz, and I'm Associate Professor of Dermatology at Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson. So the skin is our body's largest organ, and it's important to keep it healthy. We know that one of the worst risk factors for the development of melanoma is a bad blistering sunburn in childhood. So many people who have extensive sun damage do get things called actinic keratoses, which are precancerous lesions. And we believe a certain percent of those do turn into squamous cell carcinomas. So if you have actinic keratoses and you see a dermatologist, we can help treat those before they do turn into skin cancer. So luckily, if you're diagnosed with basal cell carcinoma or squamous cell ca carcinoma in cosmetically sensitive areas, surgery is the definitive treatment for skin cancer, and this is called Mohs surgery. So during the Mohs procedure, the patient is brought into the surgical room. The tumor is numbed with local anesthesia. Then the surgeon or myself arrive into the room and remove the tumor with a surgical blade. The tumor or the skin is brought directly into an adjacent pathology lab where the specimen is processed while the patient waits. The specimen tissue is inked and marked and frozen and cut and the tissue is finally placed on a lab slide and stained so that I can read it. So once the slides are prepared, I will examine them under the microscope and then I will mark on the map if tumor is remaining and where it's remaining. And once I know if I need to take more, I can go back and take another layer of cells just from the damaged area. If there's no tumor left, then I'll go back and sew up the hole and the patient is cured of tumor while they wait. So the goal of any Mohs surgery, first and foremost, is to get rid of all the cancer cells so that we minimize that cancer coming back. And then the secondary goal of any Mohs surgeon is really to give that patient the best cosmetic result that they can get. For a primary untreated basal cell carcinoma, the cure rate is over 99%. For a squamous cell carcinoma, it is around 97 to 98%. Although nobody wants to get skin cancer, the reality is that one in two Americans will get skin cancer in their lifetime. The great news is that we have a very effective way to treat skin cancer with excellent outcomes.